there, me mateys. Wrong accent, dummy. Oh, right. Good day, mate. <laughs> the sauces that we're gonna be reviewing today come all the way from down under. No, not that kind, you nasty. Australia, which is a big deal for a small town girl like me. Uh, as many of you know, I've spent my entire adult life in this house raising children on the same block, in the same town, on the same street. Oh, my life. <laughs> so when I get to review sauces from other countries, it's like, whoa, super exciting. And I'm really looking forward to this. When I say that I'm super excited, what I actually mean is I'm freaking terrified. <laughs> because although I've never been to Australia, from what I hear, it's absolutely terrifying. Even the plants want you dead. So hot sauce in and of itself sometimes can be pretty scary. When it comes from Australia, it's double the scary. But starting off the series from Bob and Brian's, we're gonna be starting off with the original. We're gonna be going from mildest to spiciest. So uh, I like the label art on this. I, it gives me sort of like small town diner vibes. First and foremost, Bob and Brian's, thank you so much. Super excited to review these sauces. If you are interested in trying some of these handcrafted international sauces for yourself, then please, by all means, check out bobandbryans.com.au. You can also find them on Facebook. You can find them on Insta. Let me tell you about this sauce. Okay? Okay. So, it looks terrifying. The front of it, I told you, it gives me like little nostalgic small town vibe feels. But the sauce itself looks terrifying. On the back, there's a cute little picture here with a little bit of a story. What's it say? Bob and Brian, the sons of Nellie Braidwood and her husband, Cliff, had a passion for making hot sauces. They would raid not only their dad's garden, but all of those in the neighborhood, collecting the ingredients needed to make their hot chili sauce. We've taken their passion for spice and created a range of jams and sauces. Ooh, there's more. This is their original recipe sauce. We think it's bonza. <laughs> they think it's bonza. <laughs> is that like swag, cool, awesome, hip, rad? Is that like Aussie version of, of that, those words? Bonza. The ingredients are as follows. Vine ripened tomatoes, fresh orange juice, red capsicum, Red onions, chilies, carrots, apple cider vinegar, Celtic sea salt or Celtic sea salt, I don't know. Ginger, garlic, coconut sugar, South American golden berries. I actually like those a lot. You can find them at Harris Teeter. I think they're also called gooseberries. I'm a big fan. Uh, fresh lime juice, lemon myrtle, pepper myrtle. I don't know what half that stuff is. I'm guessing because it's Australian. I uh, do want to go ahead and say if you are interested in trying any of these sauces, uh, they all happily ship all over the world. And so if any of my American friends want to give this a go, you can. All right. It looks really thick. The bottles are different. That's one thing that I notice off the bat with Australian sauces is the bottles are are bigger. <laughs> I think the sauce is going to be way hotter. I don't know. So anyway, in the sauce itself, you can see like seeds, pepper flecks. There's a lot going on in there. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, that smells really nice. Not vinegary at all. That actually smells really flavorful, like super flavorful. Okay. I got my big lot spoon. I got my sauce. Ooh, that's a really beautiful pour for how much like pepper flakes are in there. How many pepper parts are in there? That's actually a very smooth pour. Mm, all right, let's see. Mm. Ooh, that's salty, sweet, smooth, light on the pepper. Ooh, you have me scared. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, this is where it all began, huh? Oh, that's delicious. The one thing I'll give it, it does not have that vinegar bite that usually whenever someone makes an original sauce, like pepper sauce, it's vinegary or like really um, salty or kind of like Texas Pete. Not at all. This is really thick and creamy and smooth. It has a little bit of bite from the vinegar, a little bit of bite from the pepper. And then it has that sweetness that I can only assume is the golden berries. That was, that's a really weird curveball ingredient. I've never heard of that being in sauce before. 
but it actually complements very well. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. And the consistency of it would be really good on sandwiches because it's almost like, it's almost like the consistency of ketchup a little bit. Just a little bit though. But I think this would go really, really well on just about anything, but sandwiches definitely. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I was totally like expecting this Australian butt kick. No. Mm -mm. That's fun. And the pieces of pepper that are in there actually add to the sauce itself. It gives it a really great texture. All in all, that's a really damn good sauce. I understand why that's the beginning of it all. Something tells me um, that the rest of them are not going to be that friendly. <laughs> I think that they're just trying to be nice to lure me in. Um, but yeah, that's a really good sauce. It doesn't have a heat indicator scale, which is kind of rare. Usually, sauces sort of give you an idea. Don't mind that. I would say on a scale from 0 to 10, mm, probably a 3. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't mind that. That's trying to trick you. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> Excuse me again. It's really not spicy. <clears throat> I would give it like a three or a four, um, it, but it's really freaking good. So yeah, go check them out. BobandBrian's.com.au. And we got plenty more to go. I'm sure that they're gonna kick my butt. I think this is just a soft opening. But anyway, if you love learning about sauces and you like this kind of content, please by all means, hit like, share, subscribe, tell your mom and them. I do this all the time, so. Uh, your support is always welcome. And if you have any sauces that you love or want to see me review, let me know. God bless. Y'all take care.